my name is Petros Hirando. I am the writer and creator of My Life as a Video Game, and I star as its lead actor, Don DeWitt. Don is definitely a person who did not expect to be in this situation. He is. He's an everyman for definitely a lot of what I think will be the audience for this show. Um, gamers and people like that who, who really enjoy like playing the games, but wouldn't know the first thing if they were thrown into the middle of a war zone or suddenly had to fight against people with whips and lead pipes and a machine gun. My name is Brent Black and I play the character of Menu. I'm known on the internet as Brental Floss and I add lyrics to video game tunes. So this appealed to me right off the bat because I'm already sort of in the video game scene, know a lot about them, and making fun of them is what I already do, so why not as a floating head? I'm not going to help you if you're going to be rude. What I like about my life as a video game is that the story is both funny and dramatic. There's long arcs that end up being, you know, characters that you care about, that you want to see not just because it's the next video game world they're going to go to, but also because you really want to know what happens to them while balancing the comedy and the satire of what we love and hate about classic video game genres. My name is Jennifer Polanski and I am playing Kara Althor. Kara is, she is the princess who grew up being the damsel in distress, the girl who always gets saved, the girl who's always waiting for her hero to save her. But when she loses everyone she knows, she realizes that if she doesn't fight, she's not going to survive. I came up with a story uh, back when I was still a student and Really what made me want to try and create it as, as a series and take it seriously was when I attended VidCon in, uh, in 2012 and I saw like how much of a difference this was making and how it was changing the way we look at storytelling in general and I wanted to create something for the medium that was not just um, like, a, like a vlogger, there was a lot, there wasn't, there, was, there seemed to be an abundance of vloggers and not enough um, like real stories being told on uh, Online, I wanted to use uh, my knowledge as a writer and a screenwriter and storyteller to try and bring that to the screen. The characters are very interesting. I find that there's a good balance between Don being somewhat silly but also a character that you ultimately care about. Uh, Kara being a character that is mysterious at the beginning, but the more you find out about her, she kind of grows on us uh, as uh, you know her softness comes out later. And so she starts out hard and mysterious, and we actually get to know her and actually feel for her. And then Menu, I guess I just like the fact that I try to be the comic relief in any room that I go to anyway. So if I'm that guy and I just happen to be in somebody's wrist as the Menu system, works for me. Because we kept looking down because we forgot that he was actually going to be up here, but hopefully that's like, that's like a little secret. Um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we won't notice that too much. And at one point we were like, oh my gosh, we should look above. So we started looking above. 